This is that stat man. This video is about the Salus SR600 Smart Relay. Uh, links to the Smart Home app and thermostats, cell valves, etc. Light switches can be used on one touch rules. And we will go through that through this video. Firstly, in the box, it comes with all the instructions. The relay and that is basically all that you will need. Very small and compact, probably 20, 25 mil, 30 mil square ish, and that will easily fit into a back box with a blank cover plate on or in a ceiling behind a double socket or we have a fairly deep back box. Now we're going to wire it up and see how many different uses we can use it with with the Salus SR600 Smart Relay and the Smart Home app. Wiring the relay for 240 volts. Switching is simple. You have the neutral 240 in live. You can link the live to the common and then the normally open circuit go off to whatever you're switching on and off by using the relay. Once you've supplied power to your relay and it's wired correctly for the purpose you need it for, you will need the hub with a blue ring on it connecting to the Wi-Fi, your home smart app open, and then the red light will be flashing. Press the three lines at the top of the screen, go down to settings, and settings, set up equipment, which will bring you to this page here. Then we press the button at the top until the amber light comes on, and you'll notice the red light has changed its flashing sequence. Now you can scan for equipment on the app. You'll notice the hub has started flashing red. The red light on the receiver has now gone solid. And that means it is found with the app and it appears on the screen. Now we just need to select Smart Relay, Connect Equipment. You'll see the hub has gone back to blue. Name the relay, I'm going to call it Relay. Next, please click device name to set up and finish. That is now added to the relay, as you can see, onto the home screen. And this point here, you can now use it as a switch by simply pressing that on and off. You can go further into settings where you can pin to the home screen if you're using it for a light switch for instance or if you were using it to control a zone valve or something else you didn't necessarily need to see it on screen you can hide it by pressing that pin and you'll see it has gone away i'll leave it unpinned for now so we can see it on the screen it will show you connection. You can set up a schedule. So if it is for outside lights, you can set them to come on in the evening, go off at 11 midnight, whenever you like. You can also see the history of when it was on and off. You've also got the option to remove the relay at the bottom. The settings wheel on the top will take you to another page where you can set up the switch side we'll go over those on a separate video when we're actually going to be using the switch uh, you can control from the app what these two do you can have them as no function at all just using the common and normally open switch on and off toggle relay reverse output or no control whatsoever it can be set up however you wish to use the relay. 
if it goes offline, you can have an SMS or an email. I'll choose an email. And what message that email will tell you. And then you can save. And if you go back to the home screen, you'll see it's there. So that's simply using this as a switch on and off. You can add one touch rules to the relay. That is the basic setup for a smart relay, for the Sailor Smart Home app controlled on off 240 volt supply. The next video, we will use this relay to control a motorized zone valve and a quantum thermostat, which will determine when the zone valve opens or closes. This was that stat man. If you like, please share, subscribe and follow. And the next video will connect a quantum SQ610 RF to the relay to activate zone valve.